a series of dams, reservoirs, and legal agreements, has turned the Colorado River into a highly complex water system, supporting over 40 million people in the American Southwest. Seven U.S. states, two Mexican states, and 30 tribal nations all have rights to the river's waters. The system depends on precisely timed releases from the two largest reservoirs in the United States, Lake Mead and Lake Powell. Now the extremes of climate change are making river management even more challenging. Edith Zagona leads the University of Colorado team that developed Riverware, a program that models how the river will function under different scenarios. We've zoomed in and we can see the very important Lake Powell and it contains the physical processes and then also all of the data associated with Lake Powell. Climate predictions, evaporation rates, power generation, and all the other factors that impact the river on its journey are included in the model. The federal agency managing the river uses riverware to run scenarios, such as how the river will perform in a bad drought year. What is the reliability of Lake Powell being able to release its water to those very needy water users downstream? Getting all the water users to agree on how to share can be difficult. Most stakeholders now use riverware, and the Common Platform has helped ease some negotiations. If we can at least agree to the facts, and that's what happened when we started working with Mexico. They had their system, we had ours. We started getting together, putting models together. It's important. The software is also helping decision makers on other rivers, from the Columbia to the Nile. Matt Dibble, VOA News, Boulder, Colorado.